it's now sewn into place. How gorgeous is that? That is so gorgeous. I like the fact that this is the top stitching. If you've been to my channel before, you know what to expect. But if you're new, I'm Colleen G. Lee, and I'm here to inspire, motivate, and share ideas for refashioning clothing. Towards the end of my videos, I like to give some advice and tips on the project that you're working with, so it's worthwhile watching until the end. Also, you'll find links to sewing techniques in the description that will help you with your project. Let's get started. So you're going to need some elastic. The elastic it really is dependent on you. You can also use cuff, um, which is like a ribbing, and, and it's a, out of, mainly out of a knitted fabric. You can use that as well, that's fine. Um, but I just like this pretty little cuff that I've got here with this scalloped edging towards it at the bottom of it. Um, so make sure that you measure around the part of your leg that you want your cuff to be, the position you want it to be when you finally do this refashion project. And um, once you've done that, I've measured mine already. I'm going to cut mine in half. That's in half. So you have two pieces. And we're going to sew them first before adding them onto the bottom of the pants. The pants that I'm going to be putting on are going to be these ones. They are quite, well, not really quite wide, but there is kind of a lot there to fit into a small space, a small area. Let me just show you. So there's the elastic, and then that, that's the amount that needs to be gathered into that cuff. So it's going to be, mine going to be quite voluminous it's going to have a lot of volume towards the bottom of it but it really is about whatever pants you want to put yours on whether they are going to be more volume or less volume this technique will still work so the next step is to sew these so i'm just going to sew a straight stitch down and then i'm going to open them out like so which is like a plain seam and then i'll sew down each side in order to keep it in place When you've sewn the seam of the cuff, the next step is to turn the cuff on the right side and then place the seam down on the bed of the machine and you're going to sew the seam edges down. You can work in a circle so just go slowly and make sure the elastic's out of the way like so and start sewing. all the way to the end. Reverse and then repeat it on the other side. My cuff is now complete. Turn it to the right side. But what I have done here is that I've gathered around a little bit because there's a that there was a lot to get into the elastic and something you may need to consider it just depend how much your elastic does stretch and so i decided to put just um a row one row of gathering stitch all the way around just to bring it in a little bit and also add to the drama of the pants now there is another way you can actually do this method as well which i'll describe later but um in order to get this elastic on here I need to take it to my sewing machine, match up the seams, and then I'm going to place it on top. So it's a bit, it's a bit more difficult. Maybe, I'm not sure if the word is difficult, tricky I would say, to sew on a sewing machine or even by hand. It's just a bit more um, handling and making sure that this sits on top. And the reason why I'm doing that is because, like I said, it's a decorative elastic and I want this feature to be on top like so rather than underneath doesn't no it doesn't really which is possible you can do that but i prefer yeah colleen just being difficult <laughs> i prefer to put mine on top 
like so. So I'm going to take it to my sewing machine now and show you how I'll sew that into place. First thing you need to do is remove the bed of your from your sewing machine. So you just left with the arm. You put your elastic onto the arm like so. Make sure I've got the seam like so. And then you get the inside leg seam. Inside leg seam, there we go. And then you place that onto the arm as well. Now this is where I mentioned it gets not difficult but tricky because you're going to need to make sure you're matching up the seams on top. My foot down and then I'm going to be stretching elastic and making sure that it's covering the bottom of the pant leg so that I'm making sure at the same time that I've got the gathers. But once you get it into place, it is it does become easy. So let me do this and then start sewing. Just do it slowly. You don't have to be in any hurry. And then once you stop again, because you're going to have to stop in stages, then you have to pull your elastic and then make sure it's in position and then sew again and just keep going. It's now sewn into place. How gorgeous is that? That is so gorgeous. I like the fact that this is the top stitching for the hem of the pants, which also adds to the feature, which is really nice, but that's the look I was going for. An easier way in which to do this is to get your bottom of your pants leg, your cuff, turn your cuff to the wrong side and then thread the pants, put it over the pants like so, match up the seams and then it will be a case of then just take your sewing machine and then sewing right on the edge all the way around stretching the elastic as you sew. So the advice and tips I can give would be just think about the pants, the width of the pant leg and also elastic. Those are the key things you need to remember is that if the elastic is very rigid and it's difficult to, to stretch then you may you will need a narrower leg in order to be able to do this technique most definitely but if you've got a lot of stretch like i did in my elastic and there are elastic that could give you a lot more stretch then it all depends on whether you want that volume and um, then gather first but if not then just go ahead and you still get a good result so i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial if you have any comments or queries then put those in the comments please do give it a thumbs up and please do make sure that you, sh you share this video on your social media and with your friends. And I will see you next time.